Good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Nagarjuna Gudipati, interventional cardiologist, uh, Sanjeevi Hospitals, Guntur. Uh, I've been practicing for seven years now. Uh, today, we'll be discussing about uh, hypertension, understanding hypertension. Our today's discussion will be on what high blood pressure is and how to prevent it. So generally, everyone would like to have healthy or normal blood pressure. But what exactly does it mean? Basically, each time when the heart beats, it pumps blood into the blood vessel. This creates pressure against the wall of blood pressure. This is called blood pressure, basic blood pressure. Normally, in healthy person, it rises and falls throughout the day. See, like uh, normally with physiological activities, uh, it rises. And when you are calm, it will come down. That is a normal physiological phenomena. But when this physiological uh, phenomena gets blunted and when it doesn't come down normally, so uh, we call it as uh, hypertension. So, so usually high blood, blood pressure develops op- over time. Usually there are uh, multiple risk factors or lifestyle factors contributing to it. So predominantly obesity, smoking, poor lifestyle, sedentary lifestyle, family history even. So these are the main uh, points which are contributing to hypertension. So usually with age, with age, what we see is as the age progresses, we we have seen the number of uh, people affecting with hypertension. So even with the family history, one of the major uh, risk factors is family history. Uh, Strong family history predisposes the patient to get hypertension at an early age even. So even with the salt, high salt intake, when there is an increase in salt intake, there is an excessive um, tendency to develop hypertension. So even other food, which are fried foods and not, not taking enough vegetables, fruits, these also uh, contribute. And, and, and uh, processed, processed food or um, uh, readily accessible food, and junk food is what we call in uh, normal terms. These uh, food also contribute to hypertension, particularly in young age when we when when it is unregulated. So and lack of physical activity. So people who are uh, not having uh, adequate physical activity. So as uh, as we suggest, at least 45 minutes of aerobic or walking or a brisk walk for 45 minutes, at least four to five days a week. So another, like, uh, obviously, uh, of late, we are seeing stress is a major factor. And there is a high amount of stress involved in any uh, work or any lifestyle. Uh, obviously, hypertension sets in. So now moving on, uh, apart from the risk factors, uh, what, are, what are the signs and symptoms of uh, hypertension? So there is no particular like one sign or symptom which, uh, which, show, which shows that a patient is having hypertension. So, but it is usually silent. So whenever the uh, person gets checked for blood pressure, we can easily find with one BP recording, uh, which is called, BP machine is called sphygmomanometer. So various or indoor damages might occur when the tension is not controlled, like eye, kidney, heart, brain, everything gets involved when there is a, a high blood pressure which is not controlled. Accurate diagnosis and early diagnosis is very important in detecting blood pressure along with lifestyle and medications. It's a very important for early detection. Generally, if symptom occurs, uh, some people or some patients um, express them as dizziness, tiredness, lightheadedness, headache, nausea, vomiting. These are one of the few symptoms. It's not like all patients should develop these symptoms, but whoever get, uh, get these symptoms are most likely are having hypertension, so should go and get a pressure check. So your blood pressure is one of the easiest and simplest uh, diagnostic tool which can tell about uh, you having a blood pressure. Like diabetes, you should do a blood test. So any other test, uh, cholesterol, we have to do a blood test. But blood pressure, you can just get it done with a one BP recording. 
so uh, healthy blood pressure is around 120 by 80 it's not like all uh, people should maintain perfectly 120 80 but the range what we call is upper limit is 140 for systol and diastole upper limit is 90 so when there is a range normally normal people also there is a physiological pattern when the blood pressure increases and decreases according to the person's emotional state stress and other parameters so this thing is blunted and uh, the the physiological and uh, bringing down of the blood pressure goes doesn't work then hypertension sets in so so whenever there is a increase in blood pressure above 140 90 there has to be um treatment involved few patients who are healthy young patients who are obese and uh, regular lifestyle we can try with lifestyle modifications diet and exercise when the blood pressure is just just borderline blood pressure when it is obviously very high we have to start them on medication so so risk can be prevented and reduced by taking steps towards healthy lifestyle like regular exercise diet decreasing alcohol intake stop smoking stress management regular bp uh, measurement and um, uh, re- doing regular uh, exercise so we'll we'll um, elaborate each thing each thing each uh, uh, sessions what we have made we have, we'll elaborate each of them excess can be uh, started at a early stage like whenever the patient is in we call it prehypertension when the patient is not necessarily needed to take medication but uh, we have to control the blood pressure in such case we advise the um, patients to lower blood pressure just by uh, lifestyle modification by regular exercise physical activity um, so that the the heart rate uh, increases whenever the patient exercises um so whenever it will adapt whenever the patient does aerobic activity the heart becomes like more um patient effort tolerance increases vasodilatory reserve increases so night whenever patient exercises nitric oxide releases from our blood vessels so it will reduce the stiffness of uh, uh, arteries so so whenever um, these uh, modifications lifestyle modifications doesn't work then might we might uh, go for medications exercise like not only walking we can do jogging swimming skipping whichever brisk walking but some sort of activity at least 4 to 5 days a week should be done for the prevention or just for reduction of the blood pressure and uh, next uh, diet so diet cannot be um um cannot be left alone that is one of the major factor which contributes to um hypertension the people have started uh, various diets like dash diet mediterranean diet which cons- consists of uh, nuts fruits so they themselves have a intrinsic tendency to bring down the blood pressure even reduce the fried food fatty food taking plenty of potassium and uh, reduce uh, alcohol consumption sodium consumption all these things uh, have a very positive effect uh, for hypertension control so again reducing salt intake and diet alone can cause reduce your blood pressure to from 5 to 6 mm mercury so diet is one of the important factor in controlling blood pressure even med- with medications if you are not taking proper diet your blood pressure will not be controlled number 3 it cannot be less stressed because smoking is one of the uh, most important factors in contributing to uh, hypertension along with alcohol so whoever is hypertension hypertensive should completely quit smoking and take alcohol in moderation if we cannot moderate the alcohol doses better to stop it and uh, other thing is uh, regularly check blood pressure uh, 
Now we can do home monitor blood pressure monitoring, which is very easy. Nowadays we are getting automated blood pressure monitoring. Uh, we can just uh, take the home home BP monitoring and get it to a doctor so that uh, white coat hypertension can be prevented and uh, exact amount of medication can be prescribed. And uh, house measurement like um, is ideal for detecting hypertension because um, spuriously otherwise uh, white coat hypertension might be there when patient comes to meet a physician. So home BP monitoring uh, is very important in uh, addressing and managing hypertension. So next comes stress management. Stress is one of the factors of late because of the lifestyle which we are choosing and uh, the fastness of uh, fast is life of our of all the people nowadays. So which is unavoidable. Stress is unavoidable. But what we suggest to our patients is whatever their stress. Try to leave it uh, at work and don't carry whatever emotions or burdens you are facing at work and just come to home, uh, leaving all those things and may practice meditation, read books, uh, hear music, have social conversations, meet people. So do whatever you like and uh, go to go with your passion so that uh, stress, whatever it is there, probably we can even it, it is not completely avoidable, but at least we can uh, do things which we, we which can offset the stress. And uh, when all these uh, things doesn't work, and when we do need to start medication, basic, uh, basic, like um, first basic blood test need to be done, creatine and everything, and to see the renal parameters and to rule out any other secondary cause of hypertension, we need to do blood test, particularly in young patients. So then we start, we start them on medication and try to bring, bring down the blood pressure to 140-90, below 140-90. So uh, with all these lifestyle modifications and um, uh, medications, we've uh, seen that 95% uh, of the patients are maintaining their blood pressure very well and in normal ranges, particularly patients who are adhering with uh, good lifestyle choices and avoiding smoking, alcohol, stress managing, management and sleep. Sleep pattern is one of the important factors. Um, that also has to be regulated. We advise seven to, two, seven to eight hours of sleep per day and, uh, and reduce the stress levels. So just we wanted to cover hypertension and understand hypertension, what hypertension is, what are the factors contributing and what are the precautions which we can take to prevent hypertension. So um, I'll just conclude it uh, by saying this, not only medications, uh, hypertension treatment also includes lifestyle and changing yourself for betterment. Thank you.